I'm sick, guys. I definitely have a problem. Hey guys, I almost feel sick because of the amount of toys that I bought. The good thing about this is that I'm saying that the money that I spent this week was from that horrible experience I had on the weekend. So at least something good comes <laughs> out of it. There are so many good toys coming out right now. I guess it's for the Christmas season. And it's from every company and just new wonderful things are showing up everywhere. I don't know really where to start. I'll just, an older toy, but because the new toys were coming in, they marked this down for $5. I got it out of Walmart, which is actually another little character set that I wish I would have got. But there's a lot of good cute little characters in there too usually around $25, so five is amazing. Walmart especially is doing this crazy huge flip. Everything old is out, and they're bringing in all kinds of new things. This is amazing. These started showing up. I managed to find three different sets at a couple Walmarts. The Walmarts closest to me don't have any of them. These are made so well, really heavy. I thought I would get a classic one, one that I'm most familiar with. I'm looking forward to finding the one with her and the Ewok. She comes with another outfit. She seems to be a complete doll with no molded on clothes at all. Such a strange time for action figures and dolls and girls and superheroes and the boundary between what's a doll and what's a toy. We're in that gray area. Is it a doll? Is it an action figure? Is this for boys or is this for girls? Very cool time. Lots of empowerment for women. Speaking of which, also at Walmart I found this. This is the first time that we have seen newer DC superhero girls. There is a Starfire floating around. I have seen a couple of those recently, but now that two pack that's out, I kind of want to get her with her sister. This is my very first DC superhero girl that I bought because I found them a little bit awkward because their size is a bit bigger. A humanoid is something that I really like in a toy. Really cool colored skin and stuff, so I definitely had to pick that up. Oh, I got these old Lego sets. These were a dollar each at one of my Walmarts. So, awesome. All kinds of different. I'll probably open these all in one video. That would be really cool. Normally they're five dollars. They mark them down. Also at Walmart, ten dollars at Walmart. Normally these are thirteen at Toys R Us, and this one did come in at Toys R Us. I knew that they had lots of them, so I said oh, I'll wait on that. I really wanted this one though, because she's super cool looking, and I think she'll look great with all of my rock and weird hair style ones. I think she fits into my Gem and the Holograms Barbie collection, is what I'm calling it. Even though she doesn't have crazy hair, she has awesome hair though. New Disney Junior your figures. Really cute series. Puppy dog pals. Come on. Pugs. Cute things. You can see their collars light up when you press the button on their collar. Little accessories in there. They look cute. The cat doesn't look very cute to me, but I had to get the whole series. Come on. Oh, at that Walmart that was marking everything down to get rid of all the old stock. These were $2.50. Now I just bought this Chase. I couldn't track down my receipt for it though. I must have it around here somewhere. I was gonna return the one that I just bought for $10. Even though I have all of these before, but when you find Paw Patrol for $2.50 each, you buy them. Anything else from Walmart? Oh, this is from Walmart. I'm not sure I will keep her because I did get a lot of stuff and I wasn't sure that I really liked her. Her drawn on clothing is kind of strange, but she looks good. And there is also a new Elena who also looks good. The first release had this really shiny, weird plastic face. The new version that came out with her in a different outfit actually looks good. These are higher priced though. Normally they're $15 for a Hasbro doll in a package this size. She was 20. So that's why I'm more skeptical about keeping her and taking her back. But I might just end up getting Elena to match and open them together. At Toys R Us, I got this tangled set. The molded on tops, I'm kind of uh, about, but see how it's done well with him? And I guess that's why I feel the same about Princess Leia. 
You add a vest and suddenly I'm okay with a molded top. It just gives it that extra element. They call him Eugene. I thought his name was Flynn. Rapunzel and Eugene Fitzherbert remain deeply devoted to each other. Yeah, I'm really interested in opening that up and seeing how they pan out. I wanted this so bad. Surfer Ken. Probably my favorite head sculpt of all time. He comes with another pug, or puppy of some sort. The Barbie Dolphin Magic. Awesome. Enchantimals came to Canada at Toys R Us. We have yet to get that multi-pack with all of the singles. And I haven't seen the skunk in stores yet. They're actually being eaten up, but they're on sale this week. And that is why I picked up these three sets. I am not as excited about these as I thought I would. The molded on tops, they're thinner than I probably would have liked. I like a hunkier, chunkier toy, but these bear babies are pretty cute. And I've seen a lot of issues with eye stamping. So a lot of wonky eyes out there in the enchantable world. But I had to get some of them, and these were on sale. I mean, I like the baby animals. I don't know what I'm gonna do about the other ones. I'm gonna think about it. Uh, her I ordered from Amazon.com. Her eyes are a little wonky. Sometimes I look at it and it's okay, and sometimes it's not. I might return this to Amazon.com, I'm not sure. Still, we haven't seen these. I did see at one Toys R Us, I saw one box of Draculaura and Dracula, the family kitchen pack. It was just one box at one Toys R Us, but it's good to see that family is showing up. I also saw the party ghouls, is that what they're called? The ones that have the little snap-on pieces that you can stick all over their outfits. Finally, those showed up at Walmart. They're $20, nobody's gonna buy them for that price. So I just didn't get them for now, and it's not like they're new or anything. It just took us so long to get them. And the tree girl, Teresa, whatever her name is, she is finally out, and she's $40 at Toys R Us and Walmart. And Toys R Us has the bus, and Toys R Us has Zombie Gaga on the shelves. Ponies were half price at Toys R Us. Can I remember which set I got where? I don't know what's wave one and what's wave two. Anyway, they were half price. I think this is the set that I got at Toys R Us, half price. So then I saw at Walmart, had four different ones. And later I think I found out that this was wave I don't know. One's wave one, one's wave two, and then I might have them mixed up now. But I like the new looks of the ponies. I don't care what anyone says. I don't mind the mouths open, closed. They're stylized and they're pretty cute. And then, today, on the last day of the half price sale, Toys R Us got in these new ones. Now these were priced at $9, $8.99, but with the buy one get one free, they were $4.50 each, which is just okay. I mean, you do get a lot in these sets, and these would definitely be a good pool opening. I have yet to do any of my pool openings that I planned, but I like them as mermaids. I'm a big mermaid fan in general. So pony mermaids, I mean, they're seahorses. Sea ponies. Really cute. And then, these new Justice League. Now, I saw these for a while at Toys R Us. They've been a couple weeks. These have been showing up. The Wonder Woman and the Aquaman are short packed, super short packed, but the Wonder Woman looks so much better than any of the other ones. Really good face paint. He looks really great in that suit and I think her accessories look good. And then I thought I may as well pick up these and I got a deal on these because they weren't in the system. So they gave them to me for the sale price of the old series, which is still $12, which is kind of expensive for a figure this size, but in Canada, they're about 14 or $16 and they're new. And I guess the packaging just looks better because I don't know. I have looked at the old series and the, some of the other ones that came out. I mean, Steel looks really good from, I think, the second or third wave, but these newer ones, I just had to pick them up. Something I got from Amazon with a gift card for these Paw Patrol sets. Now, I don't know where or how, but these little Kung Fu Pup Fu kitties look so cute. 
Now there are three others of these that I have seen online and they might be Target exclusives. I'm gonna have to get my hands on them somehow. Look how cute these are. I love these packs. Every time they release animals on this kind of rescue set, I love them all. There's one with Everest in it that for some reason, I don't know if it's so short pack that I keep missing it or it never came in any of the shipments, but it's Everest and a deer and I really need to get it. It's one of my missing pieces. I have to track it down. Here's a great deal I found. I love these clicky figures and you can find them at more educational toy stores and bookstores. Now I think there's three more in the set and they're clicky animals, they're baby toys. I just thought they were really cute and I always looked at them but they would have a five or six dollar price tag on them. I saw these in a bin on sale at the bookstore and they were like marked at three dollars but I took them to the cash register and I got both of them for three dollars but now I'm looking around to see if I can find the other three and I can't. There's a sheep and a pig and I can't remember what the other one's one is, but I must track them down. And the best deal I got this week would be from the dollar store. I got the full Ghostbusters set of the original cast. These two are short packed and I did have to go looking around at a few dollar stores to get them $4 each. These had a $30 or $35 price tag on them at Walmart or Toys R Us originally. So $4 is quite a steal. These are made very, very well. The best other price I found for these were $8 at the Mattel warehouse before it shut down in Canada. This is a happy find. I've got so much stuff. I do feel kind of sick because I'm buying way too much. It's definitely an addiction. I have to shut this down. My next haul is numbered 50 so it's special so hopefully I do something special I did just place an Amazon order for the new Ever After High set with Apple White at school what is it is it a lunch set or something no that's the Frankie set there's new Ever After High so I bought that up right away I had a little bit of money left on a gift card so let me know out of all of these things what you want me to review the most I don't know when I'm gonna review all this stuff but I'm gonna try. I have to do more reviews and less shopping. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Oh, please let me know if you think I should keep her or return her. She looks all right when I show her on the camera. When I look at her in person, I'm like, uh, do you have one of these? Does yours have wonky eyes? Maybe they all look like that. Oh, don't forget my rusty rivets. I got all of the rusty rivets this week too. I fell asleep really early and I woke up and I thought it was like four in the morning. I went for a swim and I thought, I guess I'm up for the rest of the morning. But then I looked at the clock and it was like 10 o'clock. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. Am I gonna go back to sleep and when? So I'm on a messed up schedule now. I gotta open some stuff.